Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday and that of course means it is time for Hello Dave. And today we're going to talk about the launch of the Elite Dangerous 3.3 patch. Um, we're going to talk briefly about on, on the X4 and I am also have a few... Uh, giveaways that I'm going to announce today, give you guys a chance to uh, win some extra Christmas presents uh, for yourself. But let's uh, dive right into uh, to Elite. Now, business as usual, Frontier of course announces <laughs> about announced the launch day for the 3.3 patch on Monday. And since I always record Hello Dave on Sunday, of course, mean that I didn't get the uh, the news in last week, so I really should consider moving this to some other time because if it's going to be a thing, the frontier is now announcing things on Monday. Then I'll always be about a week late. But um, as many of you probably already know, the 3.3 patch will go live tomorrow. Um, when exactly it will be up, I don't know, but historically, it's going to be somewhere in patches of this size. It's going to be fairly late afternoon. Um, British time, of course. Um, so late, uh, late afternoon GMT, because they use the whole day to test and make sure everything is, is up and running and is working as it should. Um, so I expect that once the uh, people in Europe begin to come home from work, there's a chance that it might be up. We've seen this drag out before to quite late. Um, yeah, but at least it should be. Um, it should be up and running. The last uh, last time we did a large path, it did went quite smoothly. So tomorrow afternoon, uh, GMT is probably when it will be out. And of course, it fits quite nicely with my usual um, live stream, which I hold on Tuesday at eight o'clock GMT. And of course, I'll be doing that again tomorrow. Plans for the live streams are. I don't have one specific thing I want to look at. I just want to have a general overview of the different things. So I'm. I was planning to do. A little bit of, of a look into the whole squadron thing, um, because I haven't done a lot with that yet, and um, it was a little. There was some features missing in um, um, in the beta. There were some things that didn't work, and I hope that that should have been resolved by now. So now we can actually go and do a little bit of a more deep dive into the squadron, see how those works. Of course, I'm going to set up. Um, I'm going to set up two squadrons as I mentioned before. One is for the people interested in BGS, and one. Oh, sorry. One is for the people more interested in just being part of the general community and events and stuff like that. And of course, people who do BTS is also invited to all the other events. So so two squadrons. Um, one would be for people interested in, in events and the community. And one would be for people interested in event and community and BTS. So there's some extra stuff on uh, on that one. Um, loads more information over on, uh, on Discord about that. And of course, you're more than welcome to join um, either of the two. Um, I'm also considering I've been doing a lot of mining testing and I want to go out and I want to just verify that the, the things that I've been testing still works. And I probably want to do that in my uh, new ship that I've been uh, getting up and running for um, um, for doing core hunting. Um, not a Python this time. I think I have a, a better solution. Um, it's I believe I've finished the engineering on it. I just need to put the weapons on. Then it should pretty much be good to go. Um, but I might take that out not for too long, maybe just for like half an hour, forty-five minutes, just to give it a just to give it a go, and just to verify that prices are still the same, availability is still the same of the cores. So, so I get a general vibe that that if I get a general feeling that the, that mining is where it was in the beta. I mean, they might have done a balancing pass afterwards. We don't know. And then of course now. On launch days, there's also a tendency that a lot of new stuff are being discovered right around the launch. So I'll, of course, also be keeping a keen eye on forums, Reddit, in case. And if you see anything, please do post it to me. Um, because there's a good chance that there's going to be some stuff that's going to be discovered, new stuff that they might have added, secret stuff that they might have added, that's going to be discovered right away after the launch. That usually happens quite quickly. Um and if that happens, then I might go out and have a look at whatever that is. Um, we've also seen before that Frontier would add some completely unannounced content or something completely unannounced into a patch. Something they kind of kept a secret as a little bonus thing when it goes live. If they do that again, 
of course, I will also include that in live stream. So tomorrow's live stream is going to be a general launch day live stream. Going to have a look at most of the stuff that's being um, that's going to be uh, added or that will be added into the game tomorrow. So I really hope that you will tune in for that because I think it's going to be uh, be quite fun. Um, what else? Yes. Okay. So I want to move on, and uh, before we move on to the giveaways, I just want to quickly talk about about X4 now. Really enjoying the game. Really good game. Um, there's a few bugs, but I think they've already done like three or four patches, bug fixing patches. So they're definitely ironing it out very quickly. Um, but one thing that has been a pain has been getting good quality recordings of this game. Normally when I record, I use OBS and that thing will just set to capture the specific application. So I will say OBS capture elite and whatever I do, if I drag anything on the screen, it will always capture elite and it will not drag what I put on the screen. Um, it, will, it will not capture what I drag onto the screen. That's what I'm trying to say. That doesn't work with elite, uh, with the X4. I don't think, I don't know why exactly, but it seems like the Vulcan engine just not really like X4 for some reason. The, the, the engine behind, um, behind OBS does not like to, to, to talk to, to X4 for some reason, don't know why, that's just the way it is. So my initial approach was to go full windowed mode, not borderless windows, you have to go full windowed mode and then do a monitor capture. Um, that did work, but I get a ton of artifacts. Um, so like uh, around S sharp edges you would see smearing and it wouldn't look great. Um, so I did that and, and wasn't really happy with it. The quality wasn't really good enough. So I just decided that I might have to try and do a different, uh, use a different recording tool that might play a little bit nicer with it. So I gave Shadowplay, um, which is NVIDIA's um, offering in terms of uh, gameplay capture. And that works. Um, you can capture with it and uh, the file sizes are, uh, are a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I can work with that. Problem with... Um, problem with Shadowplay is that it captures directly what is outputted by the graphics card, which might seem like a good thing, but <laughs> here's the problem. The graphics card does not output a constant FPS, especially not in a game like, um, like X4, if you fly in an asteroid field or something like that. It does capture um, various frames. That means that the FPS in the video varies over time. This is not something that is supported in the editing tool that I use, meaning when I import that, I suddenly have that the video track is a different length than the time track, and they were, and these of course locked together. So the, the, as the further I got into the video, the more desynchronized the audio became with the video, and it was like a second at the, after half an hour of recording, it was about a second delay between audio and video in the game. So I had to take, <laughs> so I had to take the video, split it up. So I got the also extracted the audio track separately, um, and the video track in two separate files. Import those into the editing tool separately, and then stretch out the. Um, either I think I ended up compressing the video track, um, or just stretch the audio track. I can't remember. I, I ended up um, sitting and and adjusting the aligning the audio manually with the. Um, um, with the video to make it actually fit. It's a little, uh, yeah, it's an extra step that you have to do in order to get this to work. But if that's what it takes to get good quality video out of the game, then that's what I will have to do, I guess. Anyway, let's um, uh, let's move on to the giveaways. Um, normally, I keep <clears throat> Hello Dave completely ad free. I'm gonna do a a small exception. I think you will you will agree that that that's okay this week. Because um, Logitech reached out to me and and asked, or they said, "Well, we have a bunch of uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we want to give away. Do you want to help us give it away?" <laughs> so uh, so obviously I, I said yes because well I get a chance to give you guys free stuff. So why wouldn't I do that? And um, they have four mites that they are giving away, and um, I'm giving away one each week um, the rest of the year. That means every week in Hello Dave, there will be posted a link in the description of Hello Dave with a giveaway to the prize you could win that week. And then the following week, I will then announce uh, the winners. So you have a week to um, to sign up. And then for the next Hello Dave, the winner will be announced and I will start the giveaway for um, the next prize. Um, 
the prices are as follows. Today, there's a link in the description where you can sign up for the giveaway for a G305 mouse. Um, next week, on the 17th, you can win a Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse, also from Logitech. On the 24th, so on uh, on Christmas, you get a chance to get yourself an additional Christmas present and win a G502 Hero. And for the 31st, so the last day of the year, you have a chance to win the top of the line G903. Um, so yeah, and again, links will be posted each week. Um, I will do, as I usually do when I do my giveaways, I... Um, I'll do three draws, three winners each week, or winners each week. I'll draw three people each week. I'll then contact the first on the list. They get um, 48 hours to respond. If they don't respond within the 48 hours, I'll move on to the next on the list. And if, again, 48 hours, then I'll move on to the next on the list. Um, and if no one replies, none of the three, then I'll do, that gives me six days to get replies from those people. And if, if none of them replies, then I will do that draw again the week after. Um, so I get a chance to win it again if nobody replies, but that's how I'm going to do it. And I, and I have to get in contact with you because the way it's going to work is I don't have the uh, the mice physically with me. They are still with Logitech um, because of, for some odd reason, I'm working with the US department and not the EU department of Logitech. Don't ask why, I don't know it either, but I am. Um, so instead of them shipping it over here, and I mean, I around 30% of my audience is from the US, so there's a pretty good chance that the, that the, at least one of the prices are going to go back to the US anyway, which is a bit of a waste. So Logitech is going to keep them, and I will then be sending um, like basic information like address and uh, add your name and stuff like, like that. Uh, there were some other things. I'll, I'll make sure to list that in the, on the giveaway link so you can see exactly what information I'll be uh, I'll be sending. But just just so you know that I'll be contacting you for that information and then I'll have to send it over to, to Logitech and they will then ship the price to you um, from their office. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much what I have to cover um, this week. Of course, Go down the in the link and um, um, in the in the giveaway link and, uh, and give yourself a chance to win some uh, some little extra gaming peripherals here over Christmas. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give a like down below and remember to subscribe to the channel so you get those giveaways links next week as well. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.